What is up guys, Mitch 42 here, and welcome back to an episode of Long Live the Queen. Last time we left off, we were almost murdered, and um, we almost got married. Yeah, that's that's what happened. So anyway, um, we're back with Princess Elodie, the queen in training, and we are still trying to get her to become a queen. We're only 14 weeks in, which is, what, two, one, two, that's about three and a half months into the game. Oh boy. So, we're working on his skills right now. I forgot what the hell I was doing because it's been like a week since I've played. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> um, all I remember is what happened. I don't remember what the hell I was doing though, which probably isn't good. Um, so anyway, we're going to get started doing classes again and see what's up. Now, I know that we have to talk to the guards. Um, so, one thing I was working on was my uh, public speaking and stuff like that. I remember that. Um, and composure and stuff like that to see if we could just get past them without having to execute them. Because um, I honestly don't want to do that. I don't want to execute my own guards. I'd be pretty messed up. I mean, they're trusting me. Like, they're protecting my life. Why am I going to take theirs? Um, okay. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do expression. And I think we're going to do agility again. It seems like our agility is really high. And since it's already high, let's just keep getting it higher and higher. And see how far we can get with the, the, the motives of dance. Um, so, what was it? Was, uh, agility? Okay, an expression. Right? That's what I said, right? Okay. <laughs> That's what I said, right? Yes? Okay. Um... Sure. Oh, and if you guys saw yesterday, I played, uh, Assassin's Creed for, like, 45 seconds. Um, there will be an episode out. I'm, like... I beat the game already, so it's just gonna be like some random stuff, doing like other side missions, screwing around, you know, stuff like that. But it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's get back to the actual game we're playing. Um, you practice standing in the correct posture and singing scales to improve your pitch and tone. Your voice is now 50. You may not increase the skill until your other expression skills are 25 or higher. Oh, okay. So, um, you begin practicing death steps in the time motion. Okay. Let's see what's up. As you're walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. It's Harry Potter's owl. A single dry leaf the flutters of its talons. An owl flying in the open in broad daylight? That's unusual. I wonder if, it's, if something attacked it. See, at least we knew something. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There's a woman here to see you. She wishes crown funding for a project. Thank you for seeing me, Your Royal Highness. I, I come to you on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Putting all the sick people together wouldn't that make them die for even faster. We're not interested. God damn it! <laughs> Could have saved thousands of lives! God, we're stupid. Alright, you know, we're gonna visit the treasury. Alright, we're gonna see if this is gonna work. God, we're stupid. Alright, let's just go. Let's go to the treasury. Wow, we are horrible. You try. <laughs> We are not gonna make it through this game. You try to talk your way past that stretch regards, but despite I eyelash fluttering, foot stomping, and outright threats, they won't budge. <laughs> oh, well, she's mad now. She's like, I'm gonna kill the stab bitch. Um, <laughs> yay, we can work on our military now, finally. Um, just since we still have our a physical up, I guess we can finish up flexibility because we could probably get it past 25 so we can work with our dance and whatnot. Um, so we're going to do military, then agility, and then we're probably going to start working on medicine and stuff like that. I, w I do want to start learning that, so... Alright, so we're going to do military and agility. So we do agility in the evening and military in the morning, because you know we're going to learn our morning routines of military. Alright. Let us see here. You study the effects of battle stress on troops and how moral can turn... How morale, sorry, can turn the tide of combat. You were, she looks really bad. She's like, mm, rah, rah. she's literally just like puffing her cheeks in. So like, I hit the wrong one because I'm an idiot. You may now attend. Oh, you may now attend the ballroom dancing on the weekends. Your dance is now okay. I can ballroom dance now. Fun fact: I actually knew how to do that a couple years ago. Fifth grade, I had to learn ballroom dancing because they kind of forced us. It was actually a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I'll talk about that in a moment when we're not reading text. Uh, remember that. The festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for the commoners, followed by grand gala for the nobility. As queen, you would be expected to lead the procession and take part in ceremonial planting. 
possibly give a speech. Okay, it's a good thing we're working on a freaking talking. Uh, <laughs> however, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. Because you're gonna get shot, that's why. Outside of the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone harm means to harm you harm, think on it now. Decide later. This is a letter for you as well. If from Priority, I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. Um, she's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently, her uncle Kevon, that's a weird word to spell, Kevin, um, has been acting strangely lately and shouting at shadows. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have any to suggest to her. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um. What should we do? 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 I honestly really don't want to execute them because that's really effed up. But I might have to. <laughs> but I get the hell out of my way! Um, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Let's do sneak out. Let's, let's, let's go have some fun. She's still mad. Okay. Uh, still not very good with medicine. Let's be honest. Okay, so we need to do flexibility before I screw that up again, and we need to work again. Um, I guess we should work on history since there's people coming all around. I guess we should probably work on that, and then we'll work on public speaking next. Um, okay, so we're gonna do flexibility and world. I guess we should. I guess we should know world. Makes sense. Um, history, world history, and athletics. No, it wasn't athletics. It was agility, flexibility. Yes, I believe that was correct. You practice bouncing motions with your arms and legs to increase the muscular effect. <gasps> I unlocked an outfit! Oh my god! <clears throat> what did I unlock? <laughs> I like those little overjoyish. Um, you're <laughs> looking at a globe in the world. Remember it, reading names of places so distant you can't remember ever, ever hearing about them. And other areas uh, left blank be because no explorer adventuring there has even has ever returned. We need to get Sakajawea on this. And uh, Lewis and Clark. Uh, today's possession and planting for the festival of the good lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. Ah, shiznits! Um... I don't know. Because I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready. Alright, you know, I'll lead the parade, alright? I'll lead it. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader. Ah! A little girl. You prepare your best ground, ground. Oh my god, gown for the occasion. Then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. At the end of the fudge muffins. At the end of the, <laughs> the end of the route, you help the priestess turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. Then the new life is blessed, and all attendants join in song. The procession regroups to return to the castle. Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. At least I didn't get freaking shot or almost choked to death by a random lady in the courtroom um what should we do well uh, let's attend the ball why not you attend whoa 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 kosei calm down with the piano um you attend the formal ball which gives you the chance to interact with the nobility in a less stressful environment oh she's a little happy now she looks a little sadistic but you know what are you gonna do I'm done! <laughs> really? Oh my god! <laughs> well then. Well then. Well then. Wow. Wow. Just. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, this is funny. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So happy my family doesn't know I played this game. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys my ballroom story. Um, so yeah, I used to I used to do ballroom dancing in fifth grade because we had to learn it. It was like you know, it was like one of those classes that you had to take in fifth grade. It was just like here you're taking it because this is what our school offers you. Um, so I did it you know, like every fifth grader had to do it. So it wasn't like a choice. Like we all had to do it, um, and it was actually quite fun. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if I could, I mean, I would I would do it again. I mean, obviously not professionally and stuff like that, but you know, I still remember how to do it. I used to do uh, merengue. Uh, Foxtrot, Tango, and stuff like that. I used to do a lot of dances. I've told a couple friends about this. There's actually a video of me, um, because I had to do, a, uh, I had to present the Tango with one of the girls. I forgot her name. Um, I think it was Amy. It was like Amy or Ashley. I can't, I can't remember her name. 
um, because, you know, it's been forever. Um, but me and her had to present it in front of, like, the whole, not even our whole school, but in, like, a French of, like, all the parents and, like, the kids' parents and stuff. Oh, my God. It was nerve-wracking, but it was a lot of fun. Um, what the fuck was I doing? Conversation. <laughs> See, when I talk, I just forget about everything. Uh, so, okay, so we're going to do uh, conversation, court manners, and, or flattery. We could do flattery. Um, and let's do foreign intelligence. Because we need to learn this crap. Um, economics. Was it economics? No. No. Forward intelligence. And conversation. Flattery. Damn, we're hot. <laughs> the current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Talisay. You learn that it's important to make eye contact when saying nice things about someone. I think that's obvious. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in domain are here to see you, to see that queen. Gulp. Oh my god, they actually show her wearing it. That's really funny. Um, you finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. Whoa. Oh my god, it's frozen. Whoa. Whoa. Where's Elsa? Oh my god. All around, the rich and powerful paws in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Fudge muffin, we suck. Seeing you there, <laughs> yourself reflected in somebody highest makes you want to run away and hide. After a moment, you forcefully you force yourself to carry on, but you're sure they've all seen you hesitate. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch fuck <laughs> to catch your eye. The Duke of Kagal alone has brought three ineligible sons. Oh, only my age. Okay, all right. Cause this is my thing. It's like I don't want to marry anybody that's like ten years older than me. I'd rather marry somebody that's like my age. Cause I think she's fourteen or fifteen. I can't remember. Um, I'd rather marry somebody my age. Um, you look around the room at your possible which is say everyone. No, no one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whoever you want, and you will not be denied. Um, someone my fucking age. <laughs> You approach Lindley, the second son of the Duke of Kigal. He's about two years older than you. Okay, he's like, what, 16? He's actually you're younger than me. If he's if she's 14 and he's 16, then I'm a year older than him. Let's put it that way. And he is always nice to you. It's cool. He bows to you with great courtesy and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him. Knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Yeah! My dancing! All right, you <laughs> have been tutored in dance, of course, as as has your partner, and it is simple enough to move through the motions without mishap. Between the dances, there is time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. Man, I suck. During a lull in the music, Bayon, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against the wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I might, uh, I might have your attention. I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her words of wisdom guide us through our, our difficulties. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, take the opportunity to observe nobles that are, you rarely see. There's well, Gwenelle? Gwenella? I, I don't know. Uh, for instance, young lady of Sabura. Saburi. I don't know. These names. Only months older than you and due to finally inherit control of her duchy suit. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lia and a fierce sportsman. She was... She was a few years ahead of you at school, and the absolute terror of, of the battlefields. No, Bryony. She said, she had said her parents were leaving her st stuck at school this reason. God, I can't read right now. Her parents are here dancing together. The Duke Consort clutching his Duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous that they hadn't come. Merva, being so close. Oh, she isn't it. That's not good. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? Oh, okay. I'm scared. What was the sense of magic? I don't like that. I don't like that. Depressed and pressured. How the hell does this take? I was never depressed or pressured. Well, a little bit pressured, but I was never depressed ballroom dancing. Ugh. 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 <laughs> you sneaking out of Oh, okay. I was like, what just happened? Oh, she's a little happier now. That's good. Anyway, guys. We're gonna end it here. Um, it's a little bit of shorter today because I have a lot of stuff to do today. Um, as you guys know, I got the Elgato, which I mentioned in the beginning of the video, and I'm still messing around with it because I can't get it to go to 60 frames per second, which is annoying the crap out of me. 
Um, <laughs> so I'm going to try and fix that today, hopefully. Um, so that's why this video is a little short. Tomorrow we'll be dragging Black Sea again. Um, Zooniverse is next month, guys. I can't wait. And I need to get the stupid 60 frames per second crap to work. So when I cover Zooniverse, it's going to be amazing. Um, but yeah, so if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you can subscribe as well. Um, and comment down below. Uh, I don't know what you guys want. I don't know. Hashtag Elodie. I don't know. Just leave it in your comments when you leave your comments. Or uh, Tutu Elodie or something. Because, I mean, she's wearing a goddamn tutu. Ha. <sighs> Boy, oh boy. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. This is Crazy Mitch 42, and I will see you all in another video.